Ah, oh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Five. I'm Pastor Steve, and my goal today is to help you get your day off to a great start. And the way we do that here on First Five is by spending some time together every day in the Word of God and in prayer. And so this morning, I read a chapter of Scripture, and I'm going to invite you to come alongside me and read that as well. And we have been working our way through the book of Romans, and today we come to Romans chapter 11. So I want to invite you, when we're all done the lesson, to take a moment and read the whole of chapter 11. But for the purpose of the lesson, we're going to look at just a portion of it. We'll be looking at verses 17 through 24. So if you want to grab your Bible, or if you're on the computer, you can pull it up on your phone app and join me in Romans chapter 11, beginning in verse 17. Here the Apostle Paul writes, if some of the branches have been broken off, and you, though a wild olive shoot, have been grafted in among the others and now share in the nourishing sap from the olive root, do not consider yourself to be superior to those other branches. If you do, consider this. You do not support the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I could be grafted in, granted, but they were broken off because of unbelief, and you stand by faith. Do not be arrogant, but tremble. For if God did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Consider therefore the kindness and the sternness of God. Sternness to those who fell, but kindness to you, provided that you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you also will be cut off. And if you do... And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. After all, if you were cut out of an olive tree that is wild by nature and contrary to nature, were grafted into a cultivated olive tree, how much more readily will those, the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? Wow. That was kind of a mouthful. Sorry, I, I stumbled over that for a minute there. But anyways, here in this chapter, in chapter 11, Paul continues his conversation regarding his own people, the Israelites. We've been talking about that over the last few days. Right? He has expressed his concern over these past couple of chapters about how they have rejected Christ and are missing out on the gift of God on the faith that comes through Jesus alone. Then he begins to talk about how their rejection has led to the offering of Christ to the Gentile world. Now to illustrate this, he uses the analogy of an olive tree and grafting. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the process of grafting, if you've done a little bit of uh, horticulture, gardening, that kind of thing, you might be. It is somewhat of a common practice in fruit trees, grapevines, and olive vines. And so what happens is a plant, I mean a branch, I should say, from a different plant is grafted into, spliced into the main vine. And then at least in modern day context, they would wrap it and they would protect it and put this stuff around it and then it heals up and eventually that vine that had come from another plant and was sliced into the trunk of this new plant uh, heals and grows in and becomes part of it. That branch becomes part of a plant that it did not originally exist in. All right. So in this illustration, of the, the olive tree and the grafting, right? Think of the root as Judaism, right? That's the root, that's the beginning point of this plant. Then the vine, the center trunk line of the vine or the tree, if they're called that way, are, is Christ. And then the branches that grow off from it are his followers. And so he speaks about these branches that were broken off, that were originally part of the vine, right, or part of the root system in the plant itself. And that is the Jews. Those broken off branches are the Jews who have rejected Christ. It says those are like those branches got broken off and thrown away. Then the ingrafted branches are the Gentiles 
who originally were not part of that faith system, were not part of that belief system, right? But they have now come to Christ and they have uh, learned from Paul about Jesus and become a part of the plan. Uh, they're not from the root, they're not Jewish, but they have been joined in. So, many Israelites have been broken off, separated, if you will, from the vine. And Gentiles have been grafted in, welcomed in. But then in verse 23, he says something extremely important. This is the verse I actually stumbled over. Let me read it to you again. I'll try to get it right. He says, And if they do not persist in unbelief, they will be grafted in, for God is able to graft them in again. Who's the they? You know who he's talking about? He's talking about the Jews who had separated themselves from Christ, whose branches, if you will, had been broken off. But he's saying that if they believe, right? He's saying that even those who have been broken off can be grafted back in. And that's huge. And honestly, it has important meaning for us to this very day. Because just as the Jews who had rejected Christ could still return and be grafted back in, Jesus is saying, uh, that the, the same can be true of us. It means that as long as there is still breath in our lungs, right, it's not too late for us to return to Christ and be grafted back into the vine. And for many people, that is great news because honestly there are many in our world who were once connected to the vine who maybe grew up in the church had a connection to Christ at some point but then over time drifted away walked away rejected or just sort of lost touch if you will right and so with this they they're like the broken off branch right but what he is telling us is that we can still come back we can be grafted back in, like the, like the prodigal son, right? God waits for us, and he welcomes us with open arms when we return. So, if you once walked with Christ, but have fallen away, have not been as engaged in your faith, have not been as connected as you once were, it is not too late for you to come home. The Father is waiting. He welcomes you. And so I want to pray particularly today for those who maybe have been broken off in a way. They've, they've kind of disconnected from Christ over time, been drawn into other things of the world. But perhaps today are ready to return and be grafted back in. It is still possible. There is still time. Would you please join me in prayer? Lord, I thank you for those who... Uh, are listening today who maybe at some point have kind of drifted away from Christ, have sort of broken their branch off, if you will, and I invite them to pray with me right now. Lord, I return to you. I open my heart to you. I come back to you right now. Uh, Lord, I, I know I've wandered. I know I've strayed from the faith. I know I've gotten distracted by worldly things. But today, I want to reconnect. Today, I want to recommit myself to my walk with you. Today, I want to be that ingrafted branch that is joined back to the vine and receives new life. Lord, I offer you my heart today, and I renew with you my faith. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. God bless.